All right. So there's been a series here of uh, different stuff we've been doing here on the channel lately. What we got here is a UPS, which is an uninterruptible power supply for my computer system. Now I'm setting up a fully off grid YouTube studio and I've been working on this for a while now and we'll be making a video about that here pretty soon. What I've been using is my Blue Eddy power station, but I have a few glitches with that and because it's not really fast enough for my system for some reason. Um, I do believe I have that corrected now, but I got this just in case because it is an actual UPS. So, which we'll get the manual out and see the specifications of the uh, rating. I believe it's eight millisecond, but we'll, we'll find out. All right, so let's go ahead and get this open and check it out. Standard uh, computer style cable and uh, eight plugs on the back here. Go ahead and get this plugged in and check it out. Right, plug our power cord in here. All right, looking at 118 volts AC and it's charging right now at it looks like 23 watts. All right, we're going to go ahead and let this charge all the way up. And then I'll show you exactly what I'm doing with it on my computer system, which is right over there. All right, so this is my current system that I have set up here. You get a little sneak peek of the uh, Solar YouTube Studio video that I got coming up. So here is my uh, gaming PC. Obviously, I like my uh, lights that are unique. These are just USB powered. But this is the Blue Eddy EB3A that I'm using like a UPS, it's actually an EPS. So it's just a little tiny bit slower. Now I was having a problem with this for quite a while. I finally reached out to Blue Eddy and they gave me a uh, firmware update and I haven't had a problem with it ever since in the past week or so and it's been working flawlessly. But I thought I was having a real problem with it whenever I obtained this Golden Mate UPS. But either way, I'm still happy to have the Golden Mate UPS to have it dedicated so that I could have my power station back to use for other things. So as you can see here is my uh, Orient Power uh, 230 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that I've been using on a 200 watt solar panel. So I'll give you a little spoiler alert here. That was not cutting it uh, for my day to day use because I'm kind of a night owl and I'm up pretty late at night, and that's why I implemented this to add uh, an additional source whenever we would run out of power. It's basically like having a power outage every few days or so uh, I would have, and then this would fail over, let me know that I'm out of power, and give me enough time to uh, charge the system back up and whatnot. But I am uh, adjusting as I've been playing with this for the past uh, month or two uh, in order to prep to make the uh, solar powered YouTube studio video that I'm wanting to do here soon. And I wanted to show something that's working the way that I want it to. And so the existing system simply has not been working, but I have a system now laid out. I have all the parts and components uh, to be able to do that. And having this golden mate UPS is a little bit of a part of that. So again, so that I can get my power station back and use it for what it was intended and use the proper UPS like the Golden Mate. So anyway, that's just a, a quick sneak peek at uh, what I got going on behind the scenes here. And uh, so look forward to that video coming out soon. If you're interested to see that, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, that should be coming out here uh, within the next month or so. All right, let's go ahead and get my Blue Eddy switched out and hook up this dedicated Golden Mate UPS to our system and uh, test it out, and I'll show you how it works. All right, so we're in a really tight space in my studio here, so I can't get this uh, UPS and my computer screen that's over there next to this is my tablet. I can't get that all on the screen at the same time, so I've got an extension cord here, and what we're going to look at is this light here, and uh, we'll unplug it and see what happens. But as you can see here, we got 118 volts AC coming in, 118 coming out. So it's basically passing through the power. 
and we're drawing 137 watts. It's pulling in 153 from the grid to, to offset the battery, uh, charging the battery at the same time. So let's go ahead and unplug this here and we'll activate the uh, simulated uh, power outage here. As you can see, the light here did dim just a little. Uh, my computer screen and the computer did not dim whatsoever. These LED lights like this are very sensitive to uh, that kind of thing, but it was just dim for a second. And I'm not sure if you can hear that beeping sound. And as you can see here, we have no more power coming in, but this is what we're powering, 120 volt AC from this inverter that's built in here. And we're still drawing 133 watts. Let's go ahead and plug this back in and see what happens. Should take just a second. And then you can see we're pulling in 122 watts, 135 watts, and 117 AC back from the grid again. And here's my computer screen. We'll go ahead and do this again. This is my OBS recording software, so it looks a little weird, but... You can see there wasn't even a flicker, but the UPS is activated. Go ahead and plug it back in. All right, to get this started, you do need to press and hold this button for two to three seconds for it to come on and boot up and start putting power out to the inverter. Uh, this, and if the screen will go blank after uh, a short period of time, you just can press the button quickly to display what's going on on the screen. One of the other main reasons that I wanted this uh, this UPS is it's not only a UPS, it's also a surge protector. So if you factor in the price of a decent surge protector, you're talking about at least $25 to $40 for a decent uh, surge protector that has eight outlets. As of now, the only UPS that I know of that has a lithium iron phosphate, which is the latest technology where your battery life is going to last for 10 to 20 years, um, is this Golden Mate UPS. So that is a big deal. If you've ever had a UPS and it has a standard old lead acid battery inside, it just, they only last a couple of two or three years before you're having to switch it out. This one will last you much, much longer. So this is the 800 watt model uh, that has eight outlets. They also have a 600 watt model that looks exactly the same. They have it in white and in gray. I wish I would have got the gray at this point, but it is what it is. All right, one last thing I wanted to mention is this has a 230 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery in it. I'll go ahead and put the complete specifications in a little chart right here. You can pause this video and look those over if you want to. So this is on sale right now and I have a coupon code. I will go ahead and drop that in the link down below. I believe the 800 watt uh, model is around $169 right now on sale. And the 600 watt model is somewhere around $139. Again, these things do fluctuate. So when you do see a sale, uh, you have to take advantage of it at the time. There's no telling when you're watching this video, but at the time of this recording, those are the prices. So that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one.